This artist was born in Ukraine and came to Sweden last year. Now she will do her debut in Melody Festival with a song Never Give Up. Welcome, Maria Sur. Tack så mycket. Thank you so much. <laughs> Can you tell us about your song? What kind of song is it? My song calls Never Give Up. Uh, it's a ballad, but uh, it's I consider this song like a powerful and strong song, like as my story, because this is a song about me, about my way, about what I've been through, about my dreams, struggling for my dreams, even, uh, you know, even all this bad stuff going around me, but I'm not give up uh, anyway. And uh, I really, really would like also with this song tell people a message uh, like that it's nothing impossible and we just have to, you know, to to follow our dreams and just work hard, move on, believe in ourselves, and uh, yeah, because. Because we have, all of us have this lighting in our lives, even the dark, even if we have a dark side. So, but we have to follow our dreams, no matter what. Yeah, it will be very interesting to hear a song uh, later this week. But what can we expect from you on stage? Will there be more people than you on the stage? Um... This song, it's more about uh, my feeling. So I'm gonna, because as I said, I'm gonna tell people uh, it's gonna be like a storytelling. So it's more about my feelings, uh, my inner feelings. Uh, it's it's gonna be so truthful and touchful, I think, but still powerful. And uh, I'll, uh, we, I would like to, we would like to highlight more, you know, the meaning of the song and my my singing and my feelings um, but uh, it's going to be a choir at the end and it's more about uh, lightning uh, so yeah uh, like this okay yeah it will be, it will be interesting to see what you will bring on stage uh, do you have any musical role models or any idols I have so many favorite artists. I, I haven't like only one. I have so many. I like uh, Beyonce. <laughs> I love I love also Rihanna, Rihanna Grande, Christina Aguilera, Whitney Houston. So the the top of the top. <laughs> Great. And uh, if you get the opportunity, would you also like to participate in Eurovision for Ukraine? Oh, if if I get if I would get the opportunity. Yeah, in the future. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I even didn't think about this, <laughs> but uh, but why not? <laughs> I really yeah. don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm not sure that this is really good to go to Eurovision and participate all over and over like again, because I think uh, it's like you can just be only at this level. So you have to go further. So I think, um, yeah, it's it's like this because Eurovision is so big and great, but you still have to have this, you know, like not to over limit the the you know show yourself yeah. at Eurovision. Yeah, and if you win now in Melody Festival and you will represent Sweden in Eurovision, how will that be for you if you win them? Um, I'm thinking about this <laughs> to be true, and um, for me, it's gonna be uh, for sure that I'm gonna perform for two countries, for Ukraine and for Sweden, because, you know, I'm here in Sweden and uh, the Sweden helps me so much. And um, 
I've met so many wonderful people here that helps me so much. And uh, I've got a lot of great opportunities here that, that I really appreciate and grateful for that. And I'm in the selection for Sweden, but I'm still a Ukrainian and I have this identity inside me. So I can just separate these two countries in my heart. <laughs> so for me, it's gonna be for sure uh, winning for two countries. Well, we are now on the Eurovision uh, uh, stakes. Uh, what do you think about Heart of Steel that won the Ukrainian selection? What I'm thinking about the participant that won uh, Eurovision at uh, Ukraine. This uh, new song that's called Heart of Steel. Is yeah, that right. Going to perform in Liverpool. Yeah, is it's. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's a Tvorchi, Tvorchi. Uh, this group called Tvorchi, and uh, I really love them because I think it's so unusual for Ukraine. We have we haven't before that like performance and the, the singers like this because it's so modern and it's it's a different so i think it's it's really first time when we will show up as like like ukraine like with this modern uh, kind of style because it's really not so typical for ukraine but i really love it because it's modern and young and uh, yeah it's it's really it's really interesting and new, so I really love it. What kind of favorite do you, do you have from Ukraine Eurovision selection over the years? I have one of my favorite. Uh, it's a Jamala that she won, uh, that she uh, performed in Stockholm in Sweden. Uh, I also love a girl that uh, participated at the Eurovision Ukrainian selection last year. Uh, she's actually she won at first but then she okay it's a long story but maybe you know alina pash mm -hmm. alina. alina pash uh, i liked her i like her song um yeah yeah but uh yeah instead of her it was a college orchestra uh, and they are well, they are a winners so i also love this song it's also modern but it's still with the folk with our styles, Ukrainian styles, to compare with the Tvorchi that's going to uh, participate this year. So, yeah. And how was the, how was the song uh, used to, uh, how was it to, pack, uh, to get the song from two Swedish uh, songwriters and how, how uh, collaborated is it? I really love them, uh, Anders and Lorel. They are so such a nice, uh, such a nice, such a nice people, and uh, mm, I really, you know, love this song because it's totally about me, and uh, we work together. Even I haven't write the lyrics and the music, but we work together because I was telling my story to Lorel. Then she wrote uh, amazing lyrics that just it's like exactly what I feel, what I would like to, uh, to you know, to tell to people. And the music is, is fantastic. And uh, yeah, so it's, I don't know, for me, it's a really, really, i really happy that I have this song, that I have this song and I will start my, my really important and uh, one of the main step in my career with, this song and you will also comp compete with her too she, she, she also is in melody festival at first time too Laurel barker yeah what do you think about that uh, <laughs> you mean how how does it feel for me to be at melody festival now uh, and compete with uh, your own uh, uh, songwriter yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Sorry. Um, it was a surprise for me. I didn't know. Of course, I didn't know that uh, she's going to participate too, but it's really interesting and fun, I think. And I'm so happy for her. So, but I really was surprised when I knew that. 
So yeah, I think it's gonna be great. She's amazing though. Uh, but let's go through the quick questions now. Uh, can you describe your song with a film title? With the film title? Oh my God. Mm. Maybe action, action and uh, melodrama. And um, do you prefer Lorien with Euphoria or Mons with Heroes? Oh, I think uh, Lorien Euphoria, but it's really difficult a question. <laughs> and who would you like to do a collaboration with? Collaboration? Oh, um, maybe with the weekend. <laughs> Interesting choice. Uh, and then finally, uh, would you like to send a message to Melody Festival Club? Uh, yes. Uh, I will say VCS Elin Shopping po Lordak. That will be very cool. You're very spannende. So, VCS, and thanks so much. I hope you will like my song and my performance. I really, I will do all my best. So yeah, I'm so really excited and uh, getting nervous already. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you very much and have a great time in Lean Shopping. Thank you so much.